good early morning we're so glad you're here we daily vlogs if you enjoyed today's video make sure you come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day this is like my modified balcony coffee in the morning i'm just have the window open a cup of joffrey's i brewed we are uh mostly ready he's still snoozing i have his outfit over here we're actually doing matching it's good to be homes and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get him going in the next like five, 10 minutes and then we're gonna be heading to the car. Okay. Can you go home and see mommy and daddy and Evie? It's early. Thanks for being such a good boy all trip. You made me so happy. Give me so many good memories. Maybe you'll remember one. Goodbye, Resort TV. I'll miss you every moment from when I close this door to when I open one up again. Bottle there. Backpack all set. Goodbye, room. We're in the car, one last time. Driving to MCO, here we go. This guy has a little goofy, he's ready to go. It's looking quite busy up there at Southwest for bag check, so hopefully I can do the self tag and it doesn't give me any issues. And we'll go from there. Oh, I do love this airport. Well, it looks like it's not a long wait, six to 10 minutes for security. I'm just gonna quickly walk through the Disney store and then head over to security. He's ready to go. We got um, stroller tagged up already. <laughs> we got hour and 10 minutes. So grab some food, grab some air, airplane snacks and some things to drink for him on the plane. For plenty of time. Hopefully get him to stretch his legs, burn some energy, and maybe even poop before we get on this plane. Oh gosh, <laughs> what Goofy do so wrong? We got a fresh diaper. We got any and pretzel bites. We're gonna see it for fans. And now we're gonna go look for some snacks to add to the backpack board in about 40 minutes running smooth so far this morning well this is one way to burn some less meat energy before the flight all right here we go about to board go home to our friends that we miss so much ready for a good flight fingers crossed maybe he sleeps maybe Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Not impressed. We've got Bluey on. We're all changed into fresh clothes for the day. He's rocking Mickey. I'm rocking Mickey. And our friends are coming home. Officially in the car, headed to O'Hare to pick up Peter and James. Today's in the back. Um, we're so, so, so excited. I don't know if we're gonna do anything today, we're just gonna soak up each other's awesomeness. Um, or what, but I'm driving now. He was awake the entire flight, so he was really good, but he was awake the entire flight um, until after landing. But now I have to change his diaper and get our luggage. Well, Southwest is in the international terminal, which means like it's 
doesn't always run the smoothest, but James is still asleep. And I have my luggage already. And Sarah isn't even here, so that works out great. So I was always I always worry about the person picking me up like going over and over and over, but she's like um, two miles away. So she'll be here in just a jiffy. I've never been satisfied. Look who I have. Everyone together. Go mm. tell you about all the stuff you did the past couple of days. <laughs> we are all home and everything is right in the world. I got this popcorn. I asked for this popcorn, but then I also got another souvenir. Look at that bokeh. Yeah, James and Peter got me these nice pearl Mickey earrings. Let me see if I can get them in focus again. There you go. Gorgeous. And Teddy got this little Pluto. Super stinking cute. We don't have any. We don't. We don't have a Pluto plush. He thinks this is for her, but we got Chipotle. Boom, 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 boom. You're so nice and gentle. <laughs> James, you got a quesadilla. Peter got a Sofritos burrito. And I got a burrito bowl, half barbacoa, half pollo asada. I've never seen that before. Jamesy is officially old enough to need his own meal now. Usually we would just like have him eat off of ours. It's just too big. You like that apple juice? Well, the entirety of the four night, five day extravagance of Peter and James caught up with me and I could not keep my eyes open on the couch. And we're like, I think it was not a restful rest though. Um, but I did have my eyes closed for a while there. <laughs> As two former children afraid of storms, how do you feel as you hear a tornado warning siren going off? Yikes! Um, being a block, I'm so happy that I'm not flying into O'Hare now because O'Hare is in the thick of it. Oh gosh. There's a really bad storm cell coming through the air, but we're like... We're on the edge. We're like... Oh my gosh! I don't know, I haven't seen a rotation map of that to see like what direction it's moving in, but see if Chicago's like barely in the tornado warning, but we still need to be cautious. But like here's somebody who I think looks like they live around the block. I just it's, thought it was an ambulance, but we got one on our phone. Yeah, and I can hear the windows are slightly open. It's interesting because these tornado sirens sound different than the ones in the south side. Yeah, and my family lives like very close to one, so it was like so loud. I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I think I mentioned this before. I was very afraid of storms when I was little. I would watch the Weather Channel. I would be very worried about it. I mean, we lived in Florida for a while, and I I don't mind once the rain starts. It's the creepy like clouds of anticipation that I hate. Um, also, our neighborhood is like last on the list. Hey, Jamesy, last on the. Tonight, I think. Oh gosh. Last on the list as far as like where the storm is gonna go through. <laughs> so, whoa! So we don't necessarily have to worry about. Goodness, goodness gracious! We don't really have to worry about things right now. It's gonna be here like 7:15. But I'm actually like I'm I'm worried about the hail in our car. That's why we have insurance. Wait. We're fine. Where's James? Jamesy, take a Go-to plan is to have a dance party at the end of the night and try to jam, tie, try to tire James out. I just learned a new skill. Yeah. Did we ever say the storm never came? Or like it? Yes, storm came, but like the scary tornado part of it ended up.
turning some more south after O'Hare, and then I think it just dissipated. I think I saw a report of one roof was damaged, but um, not as scary as they initially projected it, which is good. Um, we kind of just hung out. We had a dance party. Uh, Sarah put James down because they've been missing each other, and we then Sarah and I started season three of For All Mankind. Um, I think it's your favorite show ever. I think it is my favorite show ever. <laughs> So it was good. Uh, it came out last Friday on Apple TV Plus, so that was fun watching that. And now we're gonna get Teddy ready for bed and go to bed ourselves because we're all a little, a little exhausted. It's good to be home. It's good to be. Home. It really is good to be home with all my people. Here comes Eve, strutting her stuff into our room. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.